What is up, everyone? My name is Shockers101. Today we're back with some um, more showdown. Do stop. Do, do, do you die? Nay. Um, I, I guess. I guess this is kind of a return. Um, I'm, I have a lot of videos backed up. I never came to uploading them, including all my five weeks of the GPC. Uh, I've all recorded, rendered them except for one. So that's week five. So the first four weeks should be up in the upcoming four days, I'm guessing. Um, and then I have also a lot of uh, videos with this team. No, this team. No, no, nope. I have too many teams. Um, possibly this team. Not, not sure anymore. Um, but it's definitely something with this core that I've been using a lot with Scalpede. Hippo and Starmie, I really like that core, but Togekiss also turns out to be a great moniker in metagame, I'm not sure why or how, but it, it lifts everything and kills a lot of things. But this time around, I'm um, using a team which I'm not sure if I've lost with, but um, it has a Scarf Channel lore, uh, which is something I wanted to try, but it's not something um, has been working out too, too well, uh, does look like it can put it in some work against Mega Metagross. Uh, so does Scissor, by the way. Kind of shuts it down unless it's Fire Punch, which it usually, usually doesn't. Uh, then it kind of shuts down Cress. We have to be wary of the Magnet Zone. All with all, he doesn't have any hazard removal, so kind of just. Considering leading with Garchomp. As soon as he leads with Hydreigon, which is kind of the only thing I want to switch out on, and perhaps Manaphy, I go straight into Torn. Uh, both of them, actually, on both of them, actually. So, yeah. So he leads with Hydreigon, as kind of expected. Should have seen it coming, but I just go into Torn as he Dragos. Uh, that does 50%. Does that, does that Scarf damage? Mm, hi Dragon, and then we go with a Choice Scarf variant, and then we go with Tornadus T. Um, this one, yeah, that's that's Scarf damage. So I guess we found a Scarfer. So I'm just gonna knock off right here on whatever comes in, and that's going to be the Landris, um, Landris, this Choice Scarf. Um, there are multiple things it can do right here. I mean, if I hurricane and I hit, um, I think I kill because this is a OU oh, Choice Scarf and Hurricane is 55 to 66. It's a roll. It's in my favor, but I don't feel like making that play. Um, what it can do is just go into my guard chomp and get on my stall frogs right here as a U-turn. So that's going to do a lot of damage to this Landorus. Um if he goes into a dragon, the only switch I have once again is Torn T, and I'm not sure if I can take two. Uh, he goes into Manaphy though. Um, kind of forces me out into uh, Magnezone. As he goes for Ice Beam, that's cool. Uh, don't freeze me. Thank you. And I'm not really sure what to do here. I. I he probably doesn't want to stay in. Um, well, I mean, I don't really fear his Landorus, so I'm just going to click full switch right here. Uh, he, yeah, he went into Landorus. As I said, it's not something I am um, particularly scared of because I can really, really easily go into my Garchomp. I actually kind of want to go... Um, okay, he goes into Fable. That's fine as well because uh, I can just go back into Magnus Zone and just spam Flash Cannon. Mm, okay. Um, question is, do I want to spam Flash Cannon or do I predict his incoming Magnezone and go for HP Fire? Um, kind of want to go HP Fire. Oh, he wasn't a Dragon. <laughs> um, which means that it gets a kill.
Yeah, this is bad because you kind of want to keep Magnus on because deals a lot of damage to the Clefable and to Manaphy. Um, probably should have gone. I really expected him to go in and out to his own Magnus zone to trap me on a flash cannon, but he over predicted and did a lot of damage to me. Well, you've already seen a scarf for his Landers, right? So he's not gonna be scarf this as well. I'd like to think. Um, well, <clears throat> hmm. Am I just going to superpower or hurricane? I think I just U-turn and keep this thing a bit healthy. Not really. <laughs> this thing is getting severely weakened. Um, or he's going to switch out into his Landorus. That's fine by me. Uh, I can just go into my Starmie. No, I want to go into my Garchomp and get up my own rocks. Um, so I got a rocks here, and then I'm not sure what I want to do, whether I want to risk the Fire Blast hit or not, but he's probably going to go into Manaphy right here. Um, that's fine. Uh, as I Dragon Tail, I feel like he wants to predict something, like a going for Scald or Tail Glow, so that's why I went for Dragon Tail right there, so just completely phasing that thing out and um, he goes into Magnus Zone right here he's kind of forced to switch he goes into Clefable which reveals to be Magic Guard uh, I can just go into Magnus Zone right here he could very well T-Wave he could very well Flamethrower he's gonna go into his own Magnus Zone that's could have well been worse um, he goes for it in Power Fire I go for it in Power Fire he's, he reveals whoa Scarf as well that's that's just silly. Mm. Oh, sometimes I wish I had energy ball on that thing. Like I really do. Um, like now. <laughs> Don't really want to go into Torn because Torn is the only thing I can like reliably switch in on a Dragon. Kind of want to still get a spin off with Starmie, but this thing like 90% has got energy ball. Because it's usually Scald Ice Beam Energy Ball, right? Maybe this one's like HP Fire, so then it gets shut down by Starmie, even at plus three. But I don't feel like risking that. <laughs> Especially because plus three Ice Beam kills Ferrothorn anyway. Um, I have to go Torn. I feel like I have to go Torn. I'm not sure if I really have to, but. Um, you hit your hurricane. Confusion? Ah, that would have been too much anyway. So, yeah, in comes Manaphy. Okay, Chandelure. I believe in you. M where millions wouldn't. <laughs> there we go. So, that's dead. Fortunately. Um, Hydreigon... Definitely kills something right here. Um, as much as I want to keep Magnezone because it gets a kill every single time it comes in. Eh, ish. I already got a Magnezone right here. Uh, wait, doesn't this thing just beat me right now? Because it, f I feel like it does. Um, is this thing scarf? Maybe it's expert belt. I'm just gonna test the waters right here. I'm gonna go in a scissor, uh, and then Chandelure is still nice to keep around for Metagross. Fable can't really touch it. I'm just gonna go to Starmie right here uh, as he goes to Landris, revealing basically revealing to me that he is in fact Choice Scarf. Um, he 
Here I go for a rapid spin. It's not gonna kill it, but it's gonna do a lot. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Why did you go Metagross right there? Because that makes zero sense, because Metagross usually can't touch Starmie. The only switch that kinda would have made sense is um Hydreigon. Okay, that's a crit. Uh, that's a meteor mash that hurts like a bitch. Um But I just scald again, I think. As the earthquakes. That's adorable because now you you're going to die. Is he gonna BP? Because I could recover on his BP, but if he doesn't then it's in vain. Um Landers is dead. Clefable is something that gets kind of shut down by Scissor. Uh, no, I'm just going to go into Chandelure right here. Uh, as he sets up rocks again, it's fine. I'm just going to trick. And give this Clefable a choice scarf, which makes it a lot less of a threat. Uh, don't get the special attack. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, but now he's locked into that, so I feel like making a prediction. Okay. That was very unnecessary. Uh, but now I just fire blast, I guess. Just try and get some damage off on this Clefable. Uh, if Clefable beats my Chandelure right here. Uh, no way. What am I doing? Uh, I wanted to beat it, like, really badly. Because I'm just gonna get off some guaranteed damage with Shadow Bar right here, even though I'm, like, minus two right now. It's. Yeah. It still does a decent chunk. Channel Loris power, ladies and gentlemen, that's why I tell you. Uh, now I just go into Scissor. And. I think I SD. So I get up a free SD, I get up my Mega Evolution, and if this doesn't die, then I'm fucked. <laughs> but it should well die. I mean, it's a it's a Mega Scissor, so that's a good game. Um, Fable is going to die, and I'm just going to check how long this video has been, it's like 13-ish minutes. Uh, I, I guess I'm going to grab another one, we're almost at the 1600s, which is eh, alright, which is alright. Mm. So, the Chandelure team is pretty good, it has answers to a lot of things, but it's also hard. Because it's Chandelure. Um, uh, options. Titar bones Chandelure senseless. It just really does. Mm. So does Heat Run, which well, it still gets tagged up by Shadow Ball pretty badly, but um, I feel like Garchomp is a reasonably good lead as he gets a special attack boost. That's just terrible. Um, I'm gonna go into Magnezone. And now I go into Chandelure as he predicts that and goes into Landris. Um. Wait. Is that thing Joyce Carver or not? No, you're not. And you're gone. There we go. So Chandelure putting it to work. <laughs> that was such a ballsy play. Don't ever do that. Um, but yeah, it worked out. Uh, I really got caught with my pants down, really, but he's probably never seen the Chandelure in OU, and just, because it's not a thing. It simply isn't. Uh, but now he can just go in a T-Tar, pursue trap me, and kill me, but that would allow a free switch in a mind zone. No way. Would pursuit kill me? Um, let's say we go with Tyranitar, right? Um, we go with Tyranitar, and that's a choice scarf set. And then we go with Mag Magnus Zone, which is choice specs. Uh, this Pursuit, no, Pursuit actually doesn't kill. Um, here I can just go into Magnus Zone and trap this thing, which is kind of good. Because we can get off a spin with Starmie on the Keldeo. And potentially T-Tar, potentially PC, potentially... Well, it basically it speeds everything. Um, so that's good. What do I want to lock myself into, though? Um, T bolt. T bolt's better because as soon as I go flash cannon and lock myself in at that, 
um, there's always a chance that he is like sub CM Keldeo, and that's gonna be a pain to deal with. His Starmie handles it okay, but with two layers of spikes, probably three layers of spikes after this, uh, it's, nah, it's not as great. And it would not actually have two hit KO at Clef Cape because it's 10, 10 less damage. Would have done about 60, I'd like to say. 62, so then he would have been enough at enough health to live another one, so but T Bull is actually going to die too. That's that's really good. That's I didn't know that calc from the top of my hat, so if you think I did, I I didn't. Um uh, but Magnuson has been putting in a work for me lately. It's I really like it. Mm, kills Ferrothorn, cl kills kills Klefkies and stuff. Uh it's it's really nice. Um Feels like he wants to. B oh, 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 boy! I've never seen this thing. <laughs> like, like, legitimately, never seen this thing. He's gonna earthquake right now. Uh, no, he's gonna crunch. So I basically threw my uh, secondary Kelio check, which was actually my main Kelio check with these hazard top. Um, but I'm just gonna earthquake right here as he goes into PZ. Um, 306. I don't have speed that. Um, forced to go into Magna Zone. Um, yeah. So Tri Talk is going to take me out. And uh, now I can go. Back in a channel lore, because this thing is probably choice specs. I'd like to think it's choice specs, and we should no. Okay, cool. So I can just sit here and do this all day because um. This dry attack is going to run out before my shadow ball is, um, so <laughs> it's kind of a stally part, I guess. It's not really stall because we're basically both clicking moves with, with which we can't hit one another. Um, but that's a crit. I still kind of want to keep this thing around because that beats Latios, I guess. So that's good. That's really good for me uh, because now Scarf Channel Lore kills this thing. Um, do I set up rocks? I think I don't. I'm not sure. I'm just yeah. I'm just gonna set up rocks right here as he's going to kill himself. Um, yeah, that was that was probably my best play. Can still keep this death fodder, but hopefully he goes in a Keldeo. Uh, no, he goes in a PZ. It's fine by me. Um, I'm gonna earthquake. Okay, he try talks, and we've been here before. We've been here before. Hmm. The real question is, is he Choice Scarf or not? <laughs> oh, damn it. Damn you, PZ. I'm not sure why you would run um, this set anyway. Wait, on Magnezone, what? Right. Turn one, he went for the thingy on Magnezone. So, that's 62%. So, Porygon Z. And then we go with you, Choice Specs, but you're not Adaptability. You are, well, other. And you were at plus one. So he's choice specs modest with download. So Starmie is faster than this thing. Um, okay, and now we go with Starmie. Oh, you reflect type and rapid spin doesn't actually kill it from there. Damn it. <laughs> um, bring it in against Kelio would not be too shabby. Scissor potentially beads this thing if it doesn't have HP fire. 
which it's not very likely to run. Mm. Once again, I'm just going to click Shadow Ball. He's locked into Tri Attack. Uh, Sandstorm isn't going to take him out, but he's going to struggle uh, before I do because I have more PP than he does. Um, This is good for me and the long run. So this is a uh, Stolly Wars with Chandelure and PZ. Um, I I really want to have Shandy in while doing this while clicking Shadow Ball because it speeds both of his mons possibly. And if it's Scarf Keldeo, then um, Starmie completely shuts it down, even with three layers of spikes. Because um, also Natural Cure. Uh, so he has one try attack left, and then he's going to struggle. Uh, so at this point, he will struggle. That does barely anything. And we are in with Chandelure. Scarf Chandelure locked in a Shadow Ball on a Keldeo or a Latios. And I think Keldeo is going to come in right here, which would make the most sense. So I'm just going to click Shadow Ball right here. As he reveals to be Choice Scarf. Um... Ah, that's good. That's that's good. Mm. I'm just gonna spin right here. He is gonna go into Latios. Um, as I recover right here, I think I recover right here. Does Starmie die to Draco? That's to. Oh wait, never mind. He pulled a double and a Kelly out. That's fine. Uh, I can just click Scald right here and just chip away this Latios. Um, Hmm. I'm just gonna scald again. Hopefully, get a burn. You're not going to die. Oh, damn. Is this roost? Hopefully, it's not. I'm just gonna go into scissor right here because I have to. And uh, pray, pray that this doesn't take me out. Uh, I have the bug bite right here. Uh, he's gonna go into Keldeo. That's fine. I got off the mega evolution. And Keldeo is getting weakened, uh, which is great. So I'm forced in Starmie right here. He knows that probably, but he goes for HP Electric. That's fine because now I can go and back out the Scissor um, as he goes in his, into his Latios again, and I can just Bug Bite again mm, as he goes back into Keldeo, obviously, and that does yeah significant damage. So I'm going to Starmie. Uh, he's forced to Scald. I think he's forced to Scald. Yeah, he does Scald. In fact. And here I simply recover because I'm forced to. And now I can go back to Mega Scissor, and as soon as he doesn't double right here, I win. Uh, he does double, and so what is this? This is Mega Scissor. Uh, Mega Scissor is bulky SD. No attack investment, I don't think. Wait, let me check. Well, let's say no attack investment. Then bullet punch to a Keldeo, which is a choice scarf variant. That's 15 to 18 percent. Um, which means it's in range, but I can just go in a star me right here, and as soon as he pulls a double, then that's game. Really, because now I can just safely click Scald, and this next time he even pulls a double. Uh, on me, then I just win. So, th even if he lands the next Hydro Pump, I, s I think I can still win. Um, so, I'm just going to recover on his Hydro Pump. I d even a crit can't take me out at this point. Uh, so, I yeah, I basically won right there. I can just click Scald and Mega. He has nothing to click to kill Mega Scissor with. Because otherwise, he would have gone for that in the past, uh, like an HP Fire. So, that's going to be it for today. This was 25 minutes live, but those were two really good battle actually and we reached the 1600 so I just want to show off to the world where I'm at um, it's not really because this guy's freaking 1900s but I'm at 1600s and I'm not unhappy with that uh, currently 255 which is not a bad ranking at all uh, 255 of the, the OU ladder is alright this ladder is not that old so you, you don't all get that high and my rating is actually really really shitty 
because my I'm 46 and 22 right now, which is not great. It's over two win loss ratio. I know that, but it's still not what uh, I want as my win loss ratio. I want it to have better, of course. But um, everyone always wants better, because that's the thing. Uh, but that's gonna be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.